Hello world. Now I got a request in the comments of one of my videos asking would it be possible to basically alleviate some pain around creating users where they need to search to see if there's already an access group that has read permissions and if that does have read permissions add the person to it but filter out the others if they're the local admin groups and if no group exists create a group which I thought about this and I went, you know what, that's actually pretty simple. Let's go ahead and do it. So what we've got is we're going to run through two demos. So the first one is we have our basic folder, which is going to represent our access that we want to grant. So at the moment, we don't have anything added to it except for the default groups, which is the local admin and all this kind of stuff. So stuff that we basically don't want to add users to. Um, but we do want to add our Joe Smith here. So Joe Smith is going to be our user for the purpose of this exercise. He already exists within our AD. And we have selected our folder, which is our only other input. So which is folder we just checked on the screen here. So what we're going to do is go get the access control list and we're going to filter out. So we're going to say we want things to match read and execute. And we want it to not match built in or anything with this computer name. So that's going to be the filter criteria for us. And then we're going to go ahead and say, look, if a group doesn't exist that matches that criteria, go ahead and create one. And based on that group, we're also then going to say, well, if the group didn't exist, then we're going to probably need to set permissions for that group as well on the folder. So these actions only take place if a group doesn't exist. If on the other hand, a group does exist, we won't need to do them. So we have two outputs here. If a group doesn't exist, we create it and then we add the mem the user, in this case, Joe Smith, to our created group. If the group does exist, so we'll here we'll just take the name of the existing group. And then again, same principle, we will add our Joe Smith user to that group. And we have one other output, which is the already a member in case Joe Smith is already a member of that group because obviously there's no point in adding them to the same group multiple times. So if we run the script the first time, since we know there's no groups or any permissions there, what should happen is a user group will get created and added to the folder. So let's check. We have now our user group and permissions created on the folder. So, so far so good. And if we go and check AD, we should see that we need to do a quick refresh here because new group was created and we see that the group exists. We can see that the members are Joe Smith. So Joe Smith is now a member of this freshly created group, which has read only permissions on our folder. So what happens if we run it a second time? Well, simple. It's going to run through and it's going to say, I don't need to create a group because there's already a group and it's going to say no action required because our user is already a member of that group and we did a check for that. So our output says already a member, no action needed because we are checking as one of our steps. In fact, step three to be more precise. So if we go ahead and say, right, let's change the criteria here. So we're going to go ahead and just delete the group because we don't need it as a test. And I'm going to go and reset all the folder permissions. So second test is what if our folder already has a group that has permissions? So I've got my Zurich users group here, which I set up earlier, which is already a security group. We'll give it read access and hit OK again. And what we're going to do is just check that there are no members. So Joe Smith is not currently a member of that group. And we're just going to go ahead and run the script. And as you can see, it's run. We can also go and check. We can see the permissions. And unlike our first scenario, you'll see that there are no additional groups except for the one that we added called Zurich users. So no fresh group has been created and no fresh group has been added. Didn't need to because there was only one there. And if we check the Zurich users, we can see that Joe Smith has been added to the Zurich users. So if we've run it again, well, Joe Smith is already a member of the Zurich users, so no action is required. So effectively, the logic we've got in these three steps prevents us from recreating users and prevents us from creating unnecessary AD groups. So I guess that kind of answers the question we got in the comments. 
and you do not need to worry the script and example will be marked in the comments below on this video in case you're interested you run through the script yourself or modify it